Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and welcome to our Simbang Gabi. We begin our celebration, we gather, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to so Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Eternal Majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, and so became the dwelling place of divinity, filled with the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant, we pray, that by her example, we may, in humility, hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The Emmanuel prophecy pronounced by the prophet Isaiah during a deep crisis in the kingdom of Judah is one of the best-known messianic passages of the Old Testament. The church sees in it a prophecy of the virginal conception and birth of Jesus by Mary Most Holy. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary men? Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. The Lord saw the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean. Who desires not what is vain? Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Please stand. Key of David, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. The 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be? since I have no relations with a man. And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang gabi po muli sa ating lahat. Kapaskuhan na naman at tuwing Pasko, alam natin ito yung panahon ng bigayan. Kaya may mga regalo tayong inihahanda para sa kapanahonan ng Pasko kasi nga magbibigay tayo. Kaya nga sa panahon ito, naririnig muli natin yung mga katagang It is better to give than to receive. Oh, di ba? Alam na alam natin yan. Pero out of it, nakakagawa din tayo ng joke, ano? Narinig natin yun, di ba? It is better to give than to receive. Pero narinig din natin yung joke nun. It is better to give what you receive. Kung anong natanggap mo, ibibigay mo rin bilang regalo. O, bin ninyo, nagawa nyo rin yan, ano? <laughs> eh, kasi nga minsan, yung nabibigay yun, natatanggap natin, eh, meron na siguro tayo nun. Or it does not fit our taste. So baka hindi kasya lang talaga sa'yo, eh alam nga naman para masayang, hindi ba? For practicality's sake, it is better to give what you receive sometimes. But my dear brothers and sisters, funny it might be when you hear those words, if you are going to look at our gospel today, those words holds a definite truth about giving. Because when we give, it is sometimes really needed that we see that we are people who receive. Kung hindi natin nakikitang nakatanggap tayo, ng regalo, ng biyaya, mahirap din talaga ang magbigay. Kaya it holds a truth on it. If you are going to look at our gospel today, we heard Mary called by the angel as a person full of grace. Full of grace. Punong-puno ng grasya. Punong-puno ng biyaya. 
And that, my dear brothers and sisters, is, I believe, something that Mary has always seen throughout her life. Kitang-kita niya yon sa buong buhay niya. Para sa kanya malaking biyaya na meron siyang mga mabubuting mga magulang, si Joachim and Anne. Para sa kanya napakalaking biyaya na merong tumanggap sa kanyang mapagmahal na asawa ni San na si San Jose. Para sa kanya kahit mahirap ang buhay, marami pa rin siyang biyaya na ibinibigay ng Diyos. Yung gabay, yung pagtulong, yung pag-asa na nadarama niya sa kanyang kaligtasan ay isang biyaya ng Diyos. Kaya Mary is a person is full of grace, holds an abundance of gifts. Kaya si Maria, kitang-kita na siya ay nakatanggap. Nakatanggap ng biyaya. No wonder why. When the angel told her, that she will bear the Son of the Most High. However difficult that was, she cannot but say her own fiat. She said, May it be done to me according to your word. Sa panahon na yon, sa panahon ni Maria, mahirap ang magbuntis na walang asawa. At yun ang mangyayari sa kanya. Alam niyo po kung ano ang ginagawa sa babaeng nagbubuntis sa panahon ni Maria na walang asawa. Out of wedlock. Dinadala sa plaza. At pagdala sa plaza, hindi po parang sa plaza natin na merong rock and roll, merong kasiyahan. Ang ginagawa, binabato hanggang mamatay. That was the risk that she was undertaking. And yet, when you hear her fiat, there is still joy in those words. May it be done unto me according to your word. And that is because it is very much clear to her of the abundance that she, have, that she has received from God. Ang dami-daming biyaya para sa kanya na natanggap niya galing sa Diyos. Kaya nga, kayang-kaya niyang magbigay. Masaya siya na nagbibigay. Ano ang ibinigay niya? Hindi lamang basta-bastang regalo, ano? Hindi lamang basta-bastang material na possession ang binigay niya. Buong buhay niya, ibinigay niya sa Diyos. Inialay niya sa Diyos. And at the same time, dahil inalay niya sa Diyos, inalay niya sa ating lahat. Inirigalo sa ating lahat ang kanyang buhay sa pamamagitan ng pagiging ina ng manliligtas, ng Mesiyas, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Si Maria, kayang-kayang magbigay kasi klarong-klaro sa kanya na siya ay nakatanggap. But mind you, my dear brothers and sisters, there is a bit of a difference to that which we do when we give what we have received from Christmas. That is why it sometimes makes us smile because it is funny. To look at. But Mary's giving out of receiving is not something that we call funny. It is mysterious. It is divine. And so what is the difference then with the giving of Mary out of receiving to that which we do in Christmas when we give what we have received. What is the difference? I think here lies the difference. 
yung nakakatawang pagbibigay dahil sa mga natanggap natin. It is out of the abundance of material things. Abundance kasi nga, sobra-sobra naman talaga na yung meron ka. Extra na lamang. Hindi mo na kailangan yon. Hindi mo na kailangan. Kaya nga, binibigay mo na. But what Mary received is something that she does not deserve. The difference lies in the abundance that Mary received is this. Yung abundance na nanggagaling sa hindi mo karapat dapat matanggap pero ibinigay sa iyo. Because imagine, who are we to receive the greatness of God? As lowly as we are human beings, who are we to have that image and likeness of God? As sinful as we are. Ang mga anghel nga, na mas magaling pa sa atin, mas makapangyarihan pa sa atin. Hindi kawangis ng Diyos. Narinig natin sa Biblia, di ba? When the Lord God made man, He made him in His own image and likeness. Did we hear God making angels and bearing His own image and likeness? In our scriptures, it only says, we human beings bear that image and likeness of God. Kamukha mo pala ang Diyos. Kawangis mo pala ang Diyos. Kahit na makasalanan tayo, kahit na marami tayong pagkukulang ng Diyos, sa Diyos. And yet, we receive that great gift out of that humility Mary received that great gift na kahit hindi karapat dapat let it be done unto me according to your word were the words of Mary and that gift that was received by Mary is the same gift that is being given to all of us today and every day of our Christian lives. So in a way, you too are people full of grace. We too hold that abundance of Mary. But there is that requisite that calls us to follow the fiat of Mary, to accept Christ in our lives, and to say, Be it done unto me according to your words. Ibinibigay sa atin ng Diyos, kahit hindi tayo karapat dapat natanggapin ang Diyos, Ngayon ang tanong, tinatanggap ba natin ang Diyos sa mga buhay-buhay natin? When we receive God, it is only when we are truly being able to give to others out of the, receive, out of the abundance that we have received from God. Tsaka ka lang makakabigay ng totoong pagbibigay sa panahon ng Pasko. Nakapagbigay na ba tayo ngayong Pasko? Ano ba yung naibigay natin sa Pasko? Father, marami. Nakapagbigay na ako ng regalo sa aking manito at manita. Very good. Father, nakapagbigay ako doon sa nangaruling ng mga bata, mga musmus na bata. Very good. Father, nakapagbigay po ako ng panahon ko kasi kahit antok na antok ako, pumunta ako sa simbahan, 
para magmisa di galyo o magsimbang gabi. Very good. Father, nakapagbigay po ako ng aking konting donasyon. Maraming salamat po. All of those things are very much appreciated and very much, you know, accepted not by, by our society. But my dear brothers and sisters, the best gift that we can truly give this Christmas is the very gift of Mary to all of us. And that is Jesus Christ. Father, paano namin maibibigay yun? Aren't we all called Christians? Aren't you Christians? And so, all of us bear the name of Christ. Ibig sabihin, dala-dala natin dapat sa mga buhay-buhay natin si Kristo. Na yung banti pong pag nakikita tayo ng mga tao, pag nakakasalamuha tayo ng tao, ang nararamdaman nila si Kristo. Yung banti pong pagkasama tayo ng ating pamilya, ang nararamdaman nila, gumagaan ang buhay nila. Parang nasa langit ang feeling nila. Yung banti pong, kapag nakakasalamuhan natin yung mga taong may mga masamang pakiramdam sa atin, eh kahit papaano, nakakatanggap ng awa. Yung banti pong, kapag nakakasalubong tayo ng tao na pukang naliligaw sa katotohanan, eh ang naririnig ang katotohanan, hindi fake news na nanggagaling sa atin. Dali-dali pa naman magkalat ng fake news. And that is why in our society today, the clamor that we have heard before the gospel reading that says, O key of David, referring to Jesus, our Messiah, opening the gates of God's eternal kingdom, come and free the prisoners of darkness. Because I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, there are many who are crying out to all of us, crying out to Jesus to come and free them from darkness. At kanino nila ini-expect na maramdaman ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo sa buhay-buhay nila? Tingin-tingin kayo sa paligid at tingnan ninyo ang sarili ninyo sa salamin. Diyan nila hahanapin yun. Ngayon ang tanong, nakikita po ba nila si Kristo sa atin? Di, tanungin muna natin ang ating mga sarili. Natanggap ba natin si Kristo bilang biyaya sa mga buhay natin? Kapag natanggap natin, ibigay natin si Kristo. Because it is better to give what we have received, especially if we receive in abundance our Messiah, our Savior, like what Mary did. Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Let us pray that we may be able to follow the example of Mary, who is humble, full of faith, full of grace, and always ready to do the Lord's will. In every petition, let our answer be, Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Lord Jesus, be with your church as she constantly strives to bring your gospel to all and to witness to it in the lives of her members. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Lord Jesus, be with the Holy Father, our bishop, our Paris priest, and his assistants, that they may be ever more effective ministers of your inspiring guidance. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Lord Jesus, be with our political and civil leaders, our judges, the police, and the military, 
and they may effectively promote justice, order, and the common good. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Lord Jesus, be with our doctors, nurses, and all those who work in the healthcare ministry, that they may be instruments of your healing love for all the sick. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Lord Jesus, be with all parents, that they may bring up their children as good Christians and honest citizens. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Let us pray for our personal intentions and the needs of all people we love. We pray. Through the intercession of Mary, hear us. Father, your eternal word was made man when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. May we follow her example in preparing for the coming of Jesus, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray, upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited and for which our faith bids us hope. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace.
18. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat. Sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago humurap sa nagbibigay ng komunyon, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi po sa inyo na Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostya at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostya. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ang hostya upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those who renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bago po tayo magtapos ng misa, ako po magpapasalamat sa ating lector commentator, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, sa ating choir, sa ating ushers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misang ito, sa mga sponsors po ng misa, maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag na wabawin ninyo pong pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina, ang Birhen ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Bukas po, kita-kita po ulit tayo sa ating simbang gabi o misa tigaryo. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. 
turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in a sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.